are very welcome friends in this presentation we'll be looking at how we can make changes to these trusses okay just like this as the clients has demanded us to do so successfully and so here is the old trusses and this is the new one that we are going to be looking at in this lesson how to do this we will cover it in this lesson the reason why client demands for this to be changed to this new one we we'll also cover in this lesson and so i want to ask you to like the lesson and stay tuned for more advanced lesson of this kind and you can always stay tuned by subscribing so each time we upload a lesson of this kind you will be the first to get notified and so don't forget to subscribe let us straight away dive into the lesson once again i'm so freezing so we are going to be removing all of this uh <coughs> roof polines as well as the trusses so we fix the new one successfully and why are we doing this we watch you navigate to the auto cart the auto cart of this work so here is the auto cart plan of this work and this is the ground floor plan you can see these provisions are for park cap okay park car park all right so now the bill one to five for the car parks all right then this is the first floor of it the first floor is just an event hall all right if you come over to this place you see plus 300 plus 300 here is 3000 so altogether it's 3300 for the stage of the event hall all right so if we now navigate to the section of it so you can see this section of it the way it looks just like this okay so originally the design was it was done <coughs> it was done with these trusses With this type of truss, the design was done, but uh, if you check back in the AutoCAD file of this uh, drawing, you will actually notice that that is not the pattern of the truss. So the claim demands and insisted that we should use this pattern of the truss. So this is what this is the reason why the change comes in. So we'll be going through how to make that change <coughs> successfully. So let's get back to the lesson. So at this time, all we need to do at first, we we'll have to delete this. So you select that uh, the clouding, and then you have to delete that first, and then select the pole lines as well. You delete that just like this. So you now left with this uh, pattern of thrust just like this. So we will select this or the control key, so you can select multiple of the thrusts just like this, just like this. Okay. I will be left with one this is one we are going to be editing okay so you right click and click on delete and then it is deleting both trusses and beams all right so i think we are only deleting trusses and not beams so you have to filter it out and then click on the okay options just like this all right so that is this is not enough as well okay because the pattern of thrust actually goes a little bit uh, into the columns and so we wouldn't need these beams so you have to as well remove these beams this particular beam this one this one this one all right at the roof level we don't need you have to hold this off control key so as to be able to uh, get a multiple selections just like this okay then you did that successfully okay options to get those beams deleted so you see this beam is suspending so we will, we will need a cantilever beam to connect this to this one okay so what we need to do is select one of these beams right click and then you click on it property in the drop down menu all right once the property is prompted just like this just pick this point and connect it to this one it may not necessarily work because the grid lines is at the story zero so you have to move the grid lines to this level so that it works effectively all right so i will navigate to story two by then clicking on story two to move the grid lines up just like this after which i'll repeat the same process let the any beam right click in the drop down menu the property just like this okay then pick this first point to have a cantilever beam here so this is going to <coughs> notify the analysis of this uh, structure and i will set uh, yes all right okay so you have something of this kind just like this okay so this is what we actually expected now we want to go into the editing of these uh trusses successfully so i want to say that if you have interest in letting put a structure from a to z e tabs from a to z sub 2000 from a to z and should emboss me uh, there is an ongoing uh, training program we are running on the softwares presently 
it is way into the online training where we share our screen with you uh, in a meeting and then we we'll have a conversation one on one and then we carry our design answer our question successfully so let us make progress into this lesson all right so due to time constraints i have been able to edit these trusses just like this but i want to be uh, clicking on the property of this truss so that you will actually see how this is being done successfully so i'll click on the truss right away i right click and then click on each property just like this and then we will have the truss property loading so we have this as the truss property successfully just like this okay so in this truss property so you can see the way the truss is so this is the type of truss i used okay so i i'll try to make changes over here uh the changes to the you can see the top and bottom cords uh constraints and extensions is 2000 so i will be changing this provision now to 1000 i will not use 2000 all right just like that and then i will use 1000 in this other right extension just like this okay all right so we are good to go all the settings are very okay this is the left the left he height which is the distance from this point to this point and then for the right he height is 2200 which is this point see this space right okay then if you go up i have my right vertical offset to be 2300 and then the left vertical offset to be 100 and then this straw support is at the top okay it's at the top and bottom you can see the support right there so this is the necessary setting you have to do to these trusses successfully after which click on the ok options just like this to get the trusses placed just like this okay so after you must have placed the trust like this what you just need to do now is to copy this trust to other uh provisions okay so for us to do that you just have to get the trust selected right click and then click on the copy options all right then you pick the original positions of the trust so this is the original position once I pick here, I cannot be able to place it in the target provisions, just like this, to be able to insert the trusses, okay, just like this, okay. And then I will place the last one, so after which I will right click to get that command escape successfully, so you will have something of this kind, alright. For the top and bottom code, you can make changes as well, <coughs> for instance, if I select this right click, click on each property all right you will actually notice that you can navigate to the members right there so these are the members so you can make changes to that effectively click on the ok options let us proceed and close this all right so at this time we'll be looking at the four lines okay for the four lines instructions we will have to navigate to the uh, modeling tab under the modeling come to steel in these three provisions you can count to polarize this one select that pick the first trust pick the last trust and then the polarine dialog will come up just like this so you can see this is the polarine dialog just like this okay so in this polarine dialogs you can as well want to adjust the polarine spacing okay if you want to do that you are going to use placement <coughs> you are going to use generation method okay We are going to use generation method so the generation method now is by trust joint so if you click here use space you can be able to edit the space okay at default the space is 1000 as you can see here all right okay so and then you can see the sections alignment and the profiles okay you can make changes to all of this effectively all right so after you have okay you can just click on the okay option but before they click on the side rod and then we wouldn't need this uh, profile anger we have to remove this profile anger is somewhere here if i activate it now you see it come up so this is the profile anger all right so we may remove this for the sake of this uh, presentations all right after which click on the ok options to insert the polines just like this okay so yeah we have successfully inserted the polines just like this you can see okay so the next thing we will be doing is uh we will have to place the clouding okay so we come to the steel members drop down menu in the panel of the steel members select clouding okay and then you pick on the polines to actually activate your clouding successfully so we placed 
click on the polling so you have this now if someone should ask what is the function of cloud we use it to apply load to the roof members all right you use this cloud to apply load to the roof member so you can see over here i see load here so once you activate load you can see you can everything has changed to the load patterns just like this so with this now you can successfully apply load to the roof trusses using the load cases selected you can see load cases g here and q which is the life and the dead load successfully applied it to the roof successfully okay i'll click on the okay options to insert the clouding just like this all right so this is how we make changes successfully now if you should go back to autocad and check that out you will see we have something similar to what client actually demanded us to do successfully so this is how it's been done as i said earlier if you want to take a lesson all right a training on these programs and other engineering engineering programs just as i've mentioned inbox me you have a link in the description of this video inbox me and we will commence a training and i promise you will like it and you will gain a lot from it because it's going to be more or less like one-on-one -on -one meeting and conversations discussions and then we will learn a lot and share knowledge successfully okay so we bring the lesson to a stop here and then we will see you in the next lesson we plan to bring the full uh, modeling analysis of this lesson subsequently so subscribe like the lesson and stay tuned for more advanced lessons of this kind once again thank you very much for staying through this lesson you are very very welcome this is self reason see you in the next advanced lesson of this kind and bye for now